Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Poor Man's Podcast. Joey Swoles gets an It Gym Influencer banned from her gym. Shout outs to Joey. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. That's that Chow. It's Chow Time. He's going to lift his camera up. He's going to take a quick Snapchat. Oh, I with remember the this one. Yep, with the finger. He put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Just want to give an update from this video the other day where this woman falsely accused this man of taking a photo of her at the gym, then proceeds to call him a predator and even threatens to put him in the hospital. Luckily, a friend of his that serves with him in the Navy recognized him and reached out to me. He let me know that this man doesn't even have Instagram. He only has Facebook. So we sent him the video. He was very, very upset by this. A lot of you guys actually only have Facebook. I get that all the time I, when I told you guys about the book. And again, if you guys still need the book, Instagram message me and I'll send you guys the book of how to destroy a man. Uh, it, it's just free. Um, it's, a, it's a PDF file. But <clears throat> I noticed that a lot of you guys don't use Instagram, which is good. <laughs> and explain that. He wasn't taking a photo of her. He was actually taking a screenshot to send to his wife, who was also very, very upset, which actually makes sense because if you watch the video, you can see his middle finger and thumb actually squeeze the phone. I let him know yep. that if he wanted to take legal Definitely action, has an one of my lawyers, Shaheen Namui, would handle it for him. He said he would let me know. Also spoke to this gym, Choose Fitness. They were incredible. They immediately removed this woman from the gym, rightly so, and they gave this man a free gym membership. So hats off to them. To this young woman, I hope you have it in you to apologize to that man. If not, I hope he does press charges. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Information because con I actually hope he presses charges. More men need to start pressing charge. You know, it's this this women are weak women you know shouldn't be throwing the same book as men no fuck that shit now calling somebody a predator is crazy and i know the words are getting a little bit diluted because people are using it for every situation but calling somebody a predator is a big accusation and even if he did look let's just be honest you in the gym with your buns out you essentially wearing a bra and panties as a man i'm trying to tell you even if he don't want to look he probably still gonna look girls will be in the gym looking like this talking about don't sexually objectify me Bye. 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 Like, I don't even understand what this actually works out. <laughs> like, like, are you, is this like a sex exercise? So the guy can fold you in half like that and just pound the shit out of you? Is this why you're doing this particular workout? Like, because I like it in a sense, because this is exactly what I do to women. I shove them down into a, you know, a sandwich style like this and then, you know, pound the crap out of him. So I'm glad that you're doing the stretches that, you know, so you don't get cramps. Please stop filming this type of content at the gym. Listen, I'm all for gym humor and comedy, but there is absolutely a line, especially when you're at a busy commercial gym like this crunch where a lot of young people, a lot of minors work out. They should not be exposed to this, be around it, or even worse, in the background of one of these videos. Imagine you're a mother or father. You sign your son or daughter up at this gym, they're a minor, and then you find out this is the type of content that is being created at that gym. Or, God forbid, your son or daughter is in the background of one of these videos. I would be absolutely livid. If this was my gym, I would ask you one time politely to stop doing this. But seeing as this is a theme on your page, mm -hmm. video after video, I would ask you to leave and not come back. You need to do better. I just went to her page, of course, for research purposes. I'm not a degenerate, <laughs> but I have no clue what she's doing. And then she got the nerve to complain that she tore her ACL. You're a victim. Mm. Someone made a comment calling me an incel. I've been married for six years. For one. For two, you can hate women and not be an incel. <laughs> I'm a misogynist. Wow. <laughs> I sure wood got this hard. Yeah, but this wood doesn't hear you bitch all the time. How dare you? How she gonna insult him and then when he has a comeback, she says, How dare you? And slaps Would you him rather too. be with a handsome man or a wealthy man? 
I definitely had my fair share of handsome men and I can conclude that I would rather be with a wealthy man because mm -hmm. I should be the prize. Hey, period. <laughs> period. <laughs> uh, brother, uh, what's that? What's the heaviest you've ever picked up? 400-ish. And what was her name? <laughs> if you can't say that's fine, I understand privacy. <laughs> Wrong, I understand, dude. I understand. Nothing's... Are your granddaughters? They are six and eight. Would you support them to get hormone blockers to become the other gender? I would absolutely support them to get hormone blockers. The idea of one of my granddaughters learning that they're going to start having their period if they don't get their hormones blocked, even though they're identifying and portraying as a male, how horrible that would be. So yes, definitely. If your granddaughter came to you and wanted to get a tattoo, what they e they even got old grannies indoctrinated now. Oh my gosh! What would you say? That would be more difficult. I always told my three sons the one thing I ask is please don't get tattoos. Really? Why? Why tattoos? There's just something so permanent about it. Permanent? It's pretty permanent. It's very difficult to get them lasered off or removed. You don't think it's like permanent to change your gender? <laughs> Big Pharma watching this video after they've helped to convince your granddaughter that she should spend thousands of dollars a month trying to be a boy. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! I'm so sorry that this man lied to you. I don't think you could have ever saw it coming. I'm so sorry that this man was telling you things and making you think that he was in love with you and he was ready to be a father because he makes good decisions and you never saw anything that could tell you something different. He probably told you as an explanation for the tattoo above the eyebrow it was a way of him saying that he got to get it out the mud. It was his way of saying, well, if I get this done, then it's just going to motivate me to go two times harder. And he probably told you around February or March when you got your tax return that he wanted to invest into a business or you should give your entire refund to him so he can double it up. That's what you guys want me to say, right? Because none of us saw, can see the red flags, right? And nope. he never said a word to us. <laughs> what I don't understand is we come on the Internet daily judging people and then all of a sudden in real life, we don't judge people. Just make it make sense. Mm. Look at this. It just goes to show you, no matter what race, no matter what species, every dad, hey, yo, that's all we need. Not even. My dad just went. And that was it. He didn't have to say shit. I already knew I was in trouble. <laughs> That's it. That dog. Like, I've seen other videos where the moms were dealing with the kids. There's a lot more. Ruff, 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 ruff. We, ain't, we ain't got time for all that shit. One time, yo. That dog was like, you right. Sat his ass down. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the idea of fatherhood transcends species. In South Africa, there was a group of elephants and they took away the adult male elephants and left the female adult elephants and the babies. When the baby male elephants got older, they started to become violent towards the female elephants and then they started killing other animals at random, which is wow. not typical behavior for elephants. When they figured out something was wrong, they brought back in the adult male elephants and everything went back to normal. It just goes to show that even in other mammal species, boys need fathers. Why does mom have to ask three times? That is, that is awesome to, for, like, like they said earlier, fatherhood transcends species, species. It's for y'all to do something and dad only has to ask once. You only have to ask one because, um, you yell at us the first time and we do it right away. <laughs> and then real? with mama, she says it nice two Sister. times and then she gets, um, you she get frustrated on the third. Yeah. One. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. Don't know if a six year old little boy crying over spilled milk, I'm going to look at him like being mad because I spilled milk. If a okay, three year old baby spilled the milk, that's hey, a different okay, let's, story. Let's, let's, how about we talk about the fact that at six years old, he's not a man. So don't tell him to be a man. He's that got the scene what, of glory. He 12, be 12 years to be a man. He should oh. absolutely not be treated as a man at, when he's a kid. Absolutely not. Okay, that's see, you heard the statement that's and the you're balance. rolling with the idea huh. that that child is still a child, yes, but saying be a man boy does not necessarily equate to me equating that child as a grown adult. 
being a man means you're you're learning to become a young adult, a teenager. Yeah, but that's not and what so that, forth and that's so forth. You can still be a child us. and give them certain teachings that that educate them into. How, how would you know if that's how they internalize it or not? Because you're not a fucking man. This is exactly how men internalize it. Young boys internalize a lot of these things when our fathers tell us these things. It's women just seem to think they know everything, huh? The learning how to become without a, using a, a toxic terminology. Person. That's not yes. a toxic term. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's very because problematic. What it means to be a man in every single talk I've had. I don't know. I've said I've been watching different podcasts actually with men who talk about like men's issues, right? And they talk specifically about with the term what it means when they've been told to be a man and when that happens to them and what they learn through it. And they all discuss multiple different occasions of them repressing their emotions, not become, not being their full selves, not expressing themselves the way that we were just talking about earlier as a desired for future generations. So I'm just kind of like, I don't necessarily think that it makes much sense to, to give, tell a kid to be a man. They don't know all the context of that. And all they're going to do is look on TV and think I'm going to perform I'm going to put mm -hmm. on a mask and yep. pretend to be something that you want me to be as my parent. They're yes. not going to actually mature there. A, they're not learning how to how to deal with the disappointment of their mm -hmm. toy or their milk spilling. They're not they're actually learning how to be a man. They need to pretend that they're okay. Yeah. They're no, he's going to learn how to be a man through watching his father. And this is something that modern women have to understand. Men and women are different. When yeah. young women express emotions, they cry. When young men express emotions, you get we school shooting. Tear and shit he's up. Not teaching his son to repress his emotions. He's teaching his son how to control his emotions, to use his negative emotions as fuel. This is why you need fathers in the house household because there's just certain components of manhood that women will just never be able to teach their boys let me know in the comments below if this video was a w or l and give me the hbo special that's a help brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time shout outs to poor man and shout outs to joey swoles without that man gym life would be even worse than it is now please subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time Ciao.